This is the free motion quilting tutorial for Delicate Petal Flower. This design is being sponsored by the Gidget 2 Affordable Sewing and Quilting Table. This table is big enough to accommodate all sewing machines and comes with custom cut acrylic inserts so that any machine will fit and all the gaps will be uh, covered. Learn more about this Gidget 2 sewing table at daystyledesigns.com. Now let's get back to Delicate Petal Flower. This design is stitched by first starting with a center circle um, and this is going to be in the middle of your quilting space so just pull up a thread, stitch a circle, hide that thread and then you're going to simply stitch around that circle, travel stitching and branch off with these single wiggly lines. You can see I'm wiggling off and then uh, travel stitching back to that circle. I'm being very careful to stay right on top of that line and this is a great design to practice travel stitching if you're not really used to it yet. So you can see I'm just kind of evenly branching these out and the easiest way I find to stitch flower shapes is to kind of focus on creating a core set of four petals first and then stitch a petal kind of in between those and so you can see that there's a total of eight petals on my flower. There will be once I finish up this last one. Really this base is going to be kind of um, just a starting point for this design. We're creating some very delicate leaves uh, using some very flowing lines. It's really really rather simple but you need to have kind of this base set up first. As you echo around the design many people have trouble with echoing and forming these kind of petal shapes and the best way to do it is not to look at your needle, your sewing machine needle, or to look at the previous line of stitching but it, to instead look at the space between the lines of stitching and just simply focus on keeping that space consistent throughout your quilting space. Now you can see um, I've fast forwarded here and we've got all of our petals are kind of doubled with this echo stitching and now I'm going in between each one with that single wiggly line going back to that center and then echo stitching to create that delicate petal and then I'm going to just simply go in between any of that excess space and do it again. So I'm building up that same exact petal you know just a simple travel stitched wiggly line and then echo quilting that on either side and so it's consistent throughout the um, everything that is filling this uh, flower all that excess area around the outside edge it's always the same thing and um, really this is one of those things where you could make this into a circular shape if you wanted it to look more like a flower you maybe just focus on creating maybe only two or three sets of petals but here I am actually taking this and stretching this so it fits into a square block so I'm elongating a lot of petals further than I probably would if I was wanting this to be a circle so I hope that all makes sense uh, and you enjoy watching this video. Uh, here's what it looks like whenever you finish Delicate Petal Flower. Are you looking for more flower designs? Check out freemotionquilt.com for over 250 videos on free motion quilting and many more flower designs just like this one.